okay so we're going to start this video uh, let's close this uh, we're going to be taking this from uh, where we left in the last video uh, so in the last one we learned how to how to add a new a new document to our database how to start database how to start to mongodb and some other features so uh, in this one i'm going to teach you some um, some other commands that are very important when handling this kind of of databases um, so we're going to be starting um, using the i'm going to teach you to use the, the set command okay um, so let me remember we were using for each in db.test.file and from there we had print each all right and we had all these names um, just right here all right um, so I guess I thought I thought you I talked you uh, in the last video how to use the set command but uh, it doesn't matter okay so we're going to be using um, this command in order to update a field of the document that you have added so uh, let's use dv.test.update this is the command to update something and based on that you can uh, add this new command which is called uh, set so in order to add set you need to add a couple of brackets and then add the field that you want to update all right um, so we're going to be updating uh, the university file field Okay, and it's gonna be to um, new update, which we are going to be changing. Now, what am I missing here? Uh, we need to tell the database what to find. So, uh, we're going to be adding here uh, the name, which is the, the field that I want to specify, and we're going to be adding Rodrigo, right? Um, so, as you can see, now let's use this other one, Alejandro. And from this other one, you're going to be you're going to see that Alejandro is going to be changed from uni to new update, all right? And so um, MongoDB tells me that uh, it's been uh, it has modified the, the document and everything's okay. So we're going to check that by using uh, by searching the document. So db .test find and print each, all right? And here it is here you are new update and so that's the that's the set command now um, another thing that you may be interested in is uh, using vectors in mongodb because vectors will allow you to append data and have um, a consistent a chunk of data that uh, gets appended and you can perform some data science or other things in large values of data okay um, so to do that uh, we're going to create a new uh, a new docu new documents on a database so that I can explain you good uh, in a good way this so we're going to remove the database and now you will see that database does not exist anymore so if we print all the documents that uh, were there before now they there we go so uh, let's create a new one all right so we go to dv.client.test now uh, we have the same name of the database but it's completely empty so uh, we're going to use using this command to declare a vector so it's going to be uh, insert one and here in the fields you can add um, things that you want for example name which is going to be Rodrigo and um, another thing um, I don't know um, we're we going to call this vector vector to event All right, and that's going to be defined as this so we we do that and now we have a vector in the database that we can append and in order to do that we're going to be using the update command which is going to be that and if you remember we just need to set the name that's equal to our specified field and um, now we set this as comma the dollar sign push and from that push, um, we're now able to update our vector to append. So don't forget about this syntax over here. Um, so we have the command push, which is the one that's going to be appending uh, the values that we want. And so inside these brackets, we add vector to append, and we add I don't know twelve. All right. And so now we're going to see what has happened. Dot test dot find print i and as you can see now it's got a value of 12 so let's add other values so that you believe me 
let's add 22, let's add um, 98, let's add, um, I don't know, this random number, and now let's see what, got, what uh, the database outputs, all right? And as you can see, it has appended all the, the, the vectors that you have seen, and um, it, all the values to the vector that you have seen, and now you have a, a vector to work with. Um, this can be done in more complex stuff, as you will see, uh, but I, that I'm going to show you in another video.